Hello everyone, Tommy Kane here and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tommy Kane in Video Land. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a Squire standard Stratocaster electric guitar that I got for my birthday. FedEx delivered it a short while ago and here's the box. Um, I'm going to do a review on the guitar and um, of Sweetwater. Sweetwater is the online vendor that I purchased this from. I did um, extensive research on both the guitar uh, and uh, the vendors. Um, I compared vendors with uh, Guitar Center, American Musical, uh, Musician's Friend, and last but not least, Sweetwater. Um, I also uh, watched reviews and did research on various Squire guitars. Uh, actually, Squire is the first guitar that I ever owned. Um, back in the 90s, uh, I had picked up a Squire at a pawn shop, and um, that's when I originally fell in love um, with, uh, with guitars and trying to learn how to play. So when I decided uh, recently that I was going to get myself a birthday present um, and it was going to be an electric guitar, I started with the Squire series. I looked at the bullets, the affinity, and this one here, the standard. And I went with the standard because it had the best reviews and the price was in um, my market range. I did reviews on Sweetwater and uh, as well as Guitar Center, um, Musician's Friend, and American Musical Supply. Um, prices on all of them were absolutely identical. Uh, I decided to go with Sweetwater because they did have the best reviews. They had um, free shipping, uh, no tax, um, two, uh, actually the shipping was two day free shipping and um, uh, they have an environmental control warehouse where they keep all of their instruments which is something you want with uh, wooden instruments because you don't want to have them subjected to extreme heats and colds. So having said all that, let's get this puppy open and see how she is. So let me set this down here. Alright, so we're going to start opening up this box and I'll show you what we got in it. So here is the box with the guitar. Let me set that right there. Make sure that see if there's anything else in this box. Chris Sanders, uh, sales tech uh, at Sweetwater, um, looked at my cart, uh, put me on hold for a few minutes, got back to me, and made me an offer, uh, which I felt was uh, very good. It was uh, lower than the competition and uh, in my budget. So I uh, agreed to that. Uh, he then asked me if I was planning to set up the guitar and uh, locally or if I wanted them to do it. Well, my original intention was to get it set up locally uh, at Guitar Center. I had already, I already knew what they were going to charge, uh, so that was my original intention. But I said, well, what kind of uh, setup offer can you make? And uh, he got back to me, some invoices, and gave me a quote. And this price was still uh, below that of the competition and it was still within my budget so I agreed to it and um, from there we went ahead and completed the transaction now in case some of you don't know aren't uh, familiar with guitars and what a setup is that's to set up the neck the strings uh, so that the guitar is playable to the person based on the style uh, that they play and uh, you definitely want to have a, a guitar that's going to be easily playable so that uh, you don't get burned out on it if it's, the strings are too high, it's too hard. So you definitely want to consider having a guitar set up uh, whenever you're making a purchase because virtually all guitars will need to be set up. All right, here's the guitar. Let me set this down on the table. 
All right, everyone, so we've got the table set up. I'm going to take the guitar out of the bag now um, and show you what we got. So here she is. All right, so what I want to do now is uh, explain to you some of the features of this guitar. One of the reasons I really like this guitar, uh, this particular model of the, the Squire Standard Series, is it shares um, many features with the more expensive Fender Standard and Fender Player Series. The Fender Player Series is a brand new guitar uh, that uh, Fender released uh, this year. I believe that's um, 2018 is release year for the Fender Player. Uh, it's replacing the, the Standard. So the standard is going to be going away. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, set it up over here and go over some of the features and tell you what the similarity, similarities are. So I'm going to start with the top. So with the new Squire uh, uh, headstock, we've got the lettering now. It's a two-tone lettering, gold lettering. Sometimes people call this the gold series because it's got the gold lettering with the black outline. Uh, we've got chrome um, machined uh, tuning machines. Um, they're the sealed kind. We've got uh, the fretboard is made out of Indian laurel. It has 22 frets. That's also shared with the Fender Standard and Fender Player guitars. Uh, it has uh, a Linco single coil pickups. I'm not sure if the player or the stand, Fender player standard have that um, or if they're a different model. Uh, it has a floating bridge uh, with a two-point um, um, floating bridge which is also what the Fender player and, and uh, standard have and um, tortoiseshell pickup. The Selector switch which selects between the, the neck, the middle, and the bridge pickups is a five position setup. So in this position it's picking up this pickup. In the middle there is picking up the two there. There it's picking up the one in the middle. There it's picking up these two. And in the very bottom position it's picking up the bridge only. Um, one thing about the, the floating um, bridge uh, is when you're using a tremolo, um, you can bend it forward, you can bend it back. When you bend it back, uh, you raise the pitch of the, of the notes. When you bend it forward, it raises, it lowers the pitch of the notes. Also, uh, I should have mentioned that uh, the box that this came in did have um, some stuff in it. We've got the tremolo bar, which goes right here. We've got some tools for it. Um, these are Allen wrenches. This guitar has a truss rod right in here. Truss rod is used to adjust the curvature of the guitar. It's got a couple of little Allen wrenches. They adjust the height of the action and the intonation. Uh, and there's an owner's manual here. So this did come with the guitar. All right, so um, the body of the guitar is made out of agathis. This is a solid body construction. And uh, let me flip it over here and show you the back. So I'm going to put that there. Move this to the side. All right. So I mentioned that the machine, uh, that the tuning machines were sealed. This is the sealed tuning machines. Um, when I look at the serial number, I can see that this guitar was made in 2018. So there's a brand new guitar uh, crafted this year. It's made in Indonesia. Um, in Asia, some of the better uh, quality guitars are coming out of Indonesia. Typically in, in uh, Asia, you got guitars being made out of China and coming out of uh, Indonesia. Everything I read uh, on the reviews was that the Indonesian uh, quality of guitars is a lot better. So I was very pleased when I found this particular model was mostly made uh, in Indonesia. Um, this model has a, a skunk stripe, stripe on it, that's what they call this. I'm not sure if this is walnut that's been inlaid, it's supposed to be a hardwood that gives uh, strength to the neck. Um, it's got a chrome back plate that's engraved 
with uh, the Squire logo on it. So this is uh, another one of the features that it shares with the um, Fender Standard and Fender Player Guitar. Um, the, the body is um, coated with uh, uh, polyvarethane, so it's got a hard uh, finish to the surface. And uh, going back to the front, uh, let's see here. It's got a master control that controls the volume on all three pickups. You've got two tone controls. The top tone, tone controls controls the tone for the top pickup. This uh, mid, bottom one controls the middle pickup. Um, another feature that I believe is uh, shared with the American Standard and the American uh, Player. The reason I didn't go for those guitars is like they cost more than three times the amount of this particular guitar, so that put that totally out of my budget. So, uh, looking at the guitar, uh, I don't see any flaws, I don't see any defects, and uh, the action looks good. I'm not sure what I'm talking about when I'm referring to action. Action is the height between the strings and these metal frets that go across here. Um, when you're a beginner player, you want the action to be easy and, and low, but not too low because you don't want it to buzz when you pluck a, a string and buzz. I mean, the metal of the string is hitting the metal of the fret. Um, so it makes it uh, more easy to, to be played. This is something that uh, Sweetwater uh, adjusted to make the guitar um, optimal for, for my, as per my request for my uh, playing style as a beginner. So, um, having said all that, I am now going to um, plug the guitar in, strum a few chords, and we'll see if this puppy plays as good as she looks. Um, but um, from my perspective, this is a uh, beautiful instrument. All right, everyone. So we're going to hook her up now to the amplifier and see how she plays. Uh, I'm going to test out the... Uh, the tuning first, make sure she's still in tune. Uh, after all, she did get shipped. You know, she could have been bounced around a little bit in the box. So let's see what we got here using my electronic tuner. Perfect. All right, so she's in tune. And instead of using an actual hard cable, I'm going to be using a uh, wireless transmitter. Uh, this is a Samsung airline uh, transmitter. I bought this back in 1998, so this is 20 years old, but it still works. Uh, Samsung makes some great products. They still are making transmitters now. Let's see if this works. Good, I heard that. Transmitter's over there. It's running through a cable to my amplifier. My amplifier is a Fender Champion 30. I bought that at around the same time back in 98. Um, so it sounds like it's running really good. And let's see how um, this is. You can, keep in mind, I'm rusty, so um, not really all that good uh, at playing. So uh, hopefully I don't um, do too bad. Let's take a listen and see how she sounds.
right, so like I said, I'm very rusty. Um, actually, I wasn't all that good to start off with, but this time I intend to take this a little more seriously. I've been watching YouTube. Uh, there's a YouTuber named Marty Schwartz that I like to watch. He teaches a lot of beginner guitar. Um, there's a series that he has um, on beginner chords. Uh, he has a series on beginner strumming. And he also has a lot of uh, tutorials on how to play uh, easy songs for beginners. Uh, again, his name is Marty Schwartz. Uh, his channel is called Marty Music. And there's a lot of other um, YouTubers out there that are also teaching um, beginner lessons on, on the internet. I don't remember all their names. I've watched a, a few of them. Um, but Marty is the one that I like the best. Uh, so let's do a quick run through the different pickups. That was uh, in the neck position by itself. I'm just going to do an open strum. Just to let you hear the differences. This is the, uh, the neck and the middle together. This is just the middle position. This is the middle and the bridge. And this is the bridge by itself. And boy, that sounded right. Okay. This is my favorite position right up here. Sounds more acoustic. I like that. So, um, there you have it. Um, Squire by Fender, standard series Stratocaster electric guitar. I want to thank uh, Sweetwater again. Um, there's a couple of people also I'd like to mention uh, at Sweetwater that helped me with this. Um, Chris Sanders was the uh, original salesperson that uh, I talked to out there. Uh, Myron Fett, he's my account representative. Um, Ryan Shuckle, I believe is his name. He's a tech out there that I've had uh, to talk to on a few occasions and he's been very helpful. So um, Sweetwater's uh, stood behind their uh, customer service reputation and uh, I'm very um, appreciative of all the help that they've given me. Um, one more thing I'd like to mention is uh, um, this video is not sponsored. Uh, so I've not received any kind of compensation for this. Um, all the views and opinions that I've expressed in this video uh, are my, based on my own personal experiences. Having said all that, if you liked this video, please press that thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to see some more videos in the future, because I intend to be doing um, some videos on my progression with uh, Rocksmith 2014 Remastered, which is hooked up to my uh, Xbox system, basically with the Rocksmith 2014, it comes with a cable that plugs into the, the jack port, the other end plugs into my Xbox. You get immediate feedback through the program and the interaction uh, on the screen. Uh, there are lessons on it. There are <clears throat> songs that can be learned. There's literally thousands of songs or DLCs um, from the Rocksmith website, which you access through the, the, the Xbox store. Um, so uh, that's one of my um, methods. I also have a bunch of books that I always refer to, um, as well as the YouTuber Marty Schwartz I mentioned earlier. So um, I'd like to say thank you all for um, watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Please press that subscribe button. And um, we'll see you in a few weeks. All right. Peace, love. You guys all take care.